Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day seven, the second to last day, K2022. And today's topic is sustainability. We know from petroleum-based materials are very reliable and stable, but there's an impact on the environment. So we're all searching for more sustainable materials. And behind me, we've got a very unique work cell that actually is a combi mold machine that uses a variety of different materials to make these parts. Uh, I believe one of these materials is a recycled material. And I'd like to introduce Eddie Kirsch to tell us a little bit more about that. Hello, Sonny. You're nearly correct. It could be a recycling material, but we are using here a plastic from renewable raw materials. On this very compact uh, combi mold machine, 400 ton, equipped with three injection units and a precise high dynamic servitory from rotary table, a reusable cup will be produced in one step. The mold is from company Heidelmeier uh, with uh, special hybrid inserts uh, for a fast optimized cooling and a 3K uh, well-balanced hot runner system from company Erlikon. Awesome, can you tell us a little bit more about the material itself? Yes, uh, the cup has two shells, the inner cup and the outer shell for a better grip. This outer shell material is foamed by a structured foaming technology from Wittmann Battenfeld called Selma technology and to create an isolating effect and important for the circular economy, uh, the material input is reduced. Great. Uh, is this material new? This material is really new. It's called Bornuables from Borealis. Um, this material is, as I said, made from uh, renewable uh, raw materials. That means it is uh, made from non petroleum based uh, feedstock. This uh, material has the same uh, properties and the same um, uh, quality as a virgin material. It's really a drop-in solution for every part on the market. A couple of days ago, Christian Gluck told us about the HiQ software. Is that in use in this work cell as well? Sure, Sonny. Not only on recycling material, as well on virtual material, the HiQ Melt and the HiQ Flow software brings a lot of benefit. The control and the adjustment automatically of the settings each cycle brings a stable process and a good quality of the parts. And at the end, important for the circular economy, less waste. There are a lot of more uh, interesting things on this application. Everybody who is interested to learn more about this application and the uh, technology behind is welcome to visit our booth. And for sure, you can take this coffee to go cup with you. Sonny, this is for you. Awesome, thank you very much. I'll take this over to see Imra at the Hungarian Plastics booth to learn more about a little bit more sustainability. Hi, Imra. They just Hi, sent me over here from the Whitman booth with this cool coffee to go cup to get some coffee from you. Can you oh. talk about it a little bit? Of course, of course, we can do it. But first of all, we can uh, produce the uh, empty cup set for you. Uh, what is important because it is a special product. And the raw material is a bio-based material, is a blend uh, uh, from the exclusively natural elements. Uh, and uh, what is important, don't need any special process. You can produce with a standard injection molding technology. Uh, the products after the use, uh, you also don't need uh, to be a special collecting uh, or proceed because it is standard biodegradable material and this degradable is running without any specialties. Very easy breakdown into its natural elements in water or the humid moist environment. Important then the elements, the natural elements, don't polluting the environment and the carbon dioxide footprint is totally natural. And, of course, it is your coffee cup, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Awesome. So that's uh, a little bit more on the sustainability. Come see us at Whitman, and remember, it's all Whitman. <laughs>